dreamed about nothing else other than you I always thought I'd be waiting Waiting in vain But suddenly there you were Never thought it'd be easy. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel So today we are doing an ultimate kitchen organization video with some food storage in here and like medicine cabinet all kinds of different things we are tackling my tiny pantry that you see here my refrigerator my freezer my silverware drawers junk drawer and um my like spices and all of that type of thing so i hope you guys enjoy videos like these it has been almost a year since i've done my refrigerator organizational video well, my last one that I did. And, you know, I just feel like I need to stay on top of it this time. It stays good usually for like a month. And then my life gets busy. I hurry up and throw the groceries in the refrigerator when I get home because mom life. And, you know, this is the situation that we're in. So I tackled and it was so satisfying, you guys. The first thing that I did was actually I was putting away my dishes and utensils that were already clean and I am in love. I know I've mentioned this a couple of times on my channel, but I am in love with this silverware organizer for my narrow tiny drawers. Even if you have bigger drawers, it just creates um, a lot more space in my opinion because it's all vertical instead of just kind of spread out horizontally. So I was just putting away some clean silverware in this unit and it's like ten dollars i believe um so i'll have that link down below but i do highly recommend that and then they also have a knives one um, as well now on to my refrigerator so the first thing that i do is empty shelf by shelf usually um, i don't like to gut my entire refrigerator you never know when i'm gonna have to you know be a parent in mother sydney because i was doing this during the afternoon um and i just have this thing i don't like food to be out in room temperature for a while for like even 10 minutes i'm just weird so i just do it shelf by shelf and yeah you'll notice i have duplicates of things and it totally gets away from me i had great bones and structure um actually very recently i just did a food prep video but like i said over the last two grocery trips i just kind of it just got away from me i like hurried up and threw all the groceries in the refrigerator and then i can't see what i have and then food goes to waste that way because it might expire or it's in the back of the fridge and i just yeah and then also i have this deli drawer that has been broken forever now and it's been held up by a mayonnaise container <laughs> so long even a year ago when i filmed my fridge video my fridge organization video um it was there so it is time that i finally got rid of it and we're all runners and we race against time and we're all runners we were born to chase the tide no matter I finally purchased one of those spinning lazy Susans for my refrigerator and I don't know what took me so long to do this. I kept thinking it wasn't a necessary thing and it would like take up space but I used to have my sauces like the jar of pasta sauce, salsa, sour cream, things like that um, in a long rectangle kind of container and then I would still not use things before they would go bad or I would have duplicates so anyway I finally purchased one of these lazy Susans and I am already so pumped because I just put it on the top shelf and then you can just rotate it and then you know what you have and it's not behind anything and hidden so and I've already had this egg organizer for a while now but it's also one of those things that took me forever to get and I didn't know I needed it until I had it and I love it so I highly recommend the egg organizer that way you know exactly how many eggs you have left um, and when you need to purchase them
I know I am using, you see me using a lot of bottled water here. Um, I'm actually going to make the switch to a big, huge container to just have sitting in my refrigerator. Now that I feel like I have a little bit more room, I just don't love um, any of the filtered like tap water. I don't know. It's just me, <laughs> but I will be switching to a larger jug. That way I'm not using as much small plastic, even though I recycle, but you know what I mean? You still reduce, reuse, recycle. And I do promise to do better with the uh, produce bags. Right now, you are not allowed to use your reusable ones. And then when I do to-go, which is I mostly do to-go, um, they pack up my groceries for me. So I promise to do better and, you know, reduce that single-use plastic. Um, but then I'm also, obviously, Sydney's helping herself to a snack right now. It was so cute. I had to just leave it in here because she's like a big girl. She just helps herself, opens the fridge, gets her own apple. Bye, Mom. <laughs> um anyway so instead of using my deli drawer like a normal shelf um, that pulls out I just kind of took it down and then I'm using it as um a drawer but leaving it on the shelf now I know it's not as efficient with space I'm hoping it's okay we don't really eat a lot of deli meat anyway so temperature control hopefully is fine um, I will just put them in separate containers but I'm using this for my cheeses and my like any deli things that I do have And this is what my refrigerator turned out like. I am so pleased and happy whenever I do organize my fridge. Everything is readily available. It's either out in the open or in clear bins, and it just makes me so happy. I waste a whole lot less food. I waste a whole lot less money, um, and that way I don't have to buy so many duplicates. So I am so pleased with how everything looks. And we also have a lot of room to spare for more snacks next time we go grocery shopping in a few days and... Um, love having extra space for, you know, bigger items, rotisserie chickens and whatnot. The next thing that I'm tackling is my tiny little pantry, and I'm actually only tackling two of the shelves today. I will deal with the other shelves at another time, but the snack shelf and for Sydney and then the like kind of baking and other ingredient shelf um, that I use mostly. Basically, I had so many random things in here. I have half old cereal boxes and like just random like popsicle molds for Sydney. Um, so I wanted to declutter and I usually, I actually do this periodically. Don't need someone to save me. Tell 
that something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk, I think you said enough You said you love for me something bread So I'm just taking whatever empty containers that I have and um, emptying like the cereal, the crackers, and the snack things into them. Um, a lot of the ones that I use are from Target, the glass ones with the wooden lids, and I am so in love with them. Every time I place an order at Target, I try to snag what I can for them. I know they are very popular right now, so snag them if you can. <laughs> They're so cute to be cohesive. Um, so anyway, a lot of my baking goods are in there. We've got some flour, sugar, um, quinoa, oats, and then I just popped Sydney's cereal in the storage containers as well as some Cheez-Its crackers. I just like everything to be in clear containers as much as possible at least. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in the car. Let me see. ended up moving the Sydney snack shelf down one that way she could reach it I'm always having to pick her up and she's wanting to visually see what there is until she picks out a snack this empty um, container right here is going to be filled with pouches we are just out at the moment so all of Sydney's snacks some crackers cereal and whatnot are on the bottom shelf and then the top shelf not the top but the one above it is more of pantry items like uh, flour sugar extra things and I do have this shelf in my kitchen where I keep just random items basically for display look purposes, but I have some chia seeds, the chocolate chips, uh, rolled oats, and I believe I put the quinoa on there as well. Yep. And then um, it's basically just for decoration with a little like fake fern. I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like Joanna Gaines a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Let's be honest for a second. There is no one other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. Here we are in a car. Let me say who you are. Who you the next thing I'm tackling is my spice cabinet. It's my spice cabinet, medicine cabinet, baking things, <laughs> so many different random um, items in here. And this honestly hasn't been done since I moved in like four and a half years ago at this point. Um, and I still had my prenatal things and Sydney's infant things. But anyway, so I'm just cleaning this out. We had so much pepper in there and lots of different spices and things. So I ended up throwing a lot away. Um, and then when I reorganized it, I ended up staggering things um, because I have very like short shelves. So that would be the most convenient way for me to be able to see everything um, since I had plenty of space in there anyway. And then I just put my most used items in the front, like salt and pepper and just other spices that I use all the time are in the front and everything else is kind of zigzagged, staggered so that I can see through. Really I decided tonight was the night where it was finally time for me to tackle my utensil drawer, not utensils, but all of my like 
kitchen gadgets, measuring cups, junk drawer. I had three things of tape in this drawer, you guys, and just random things that did not belong. And it's just been like this forever at this point. And I get so frustrated every time I try to open it and things get stuck and jammed and it was just a hot mess waiting to be done. So I took everything all out of here and then kind of sifted through what needed to stay and where I could place elsewhere or what I could throw in the trash. Um, and then I actually had leftover uh, organizers that I didn't use in my pantry or my refrigerator. So these fit perfectly in my drawer and they make a world of a difference. So I ended up putting those in here and then you will see the finished product. I am so pleased. Now when I open this drawer, it makes me so happy. I have my essentials, my my go-to items, and they're all organized according to like the most used and it's just so satisfying. I'm doing this all in real time that's why it's all kind of out of order but I really needed to tackle my freezer situation whenever I go grocery shopping now I don't have any room for anything because it's all unorganized so I just emptied it all out wiped down the freezer and then of course threw away anything that was expired old um, completely frostbitten and <laughs> gross and then when I put everything back, I just line them all up side by side. And I've seen people do this and how it creates a whole lot more space. And it definitely did that. And that way you can see what you have as well. Being organized is all about seeing what you have and, you know, knowing what you have. So you're not wasting money buying other things and having four unopened of the same or four opened of the same things. I feel so much better. And I do have room for more like ice cream and pizzas and whatnot whenever we do go grocery shopping again. So that is going to do it for today's kitchen organization. I feel like I tackled so many good things. Someday I will have coordinating and labeled everything, but that is not today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Don't leave me, then just do it.